Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Let It Die. <laughs> uh, so many things. Don't look at me. <laughs> okay, we are going to jump back into Let It Die at some point. But again, there's a reason why only one real person is still doing Let It Die. Even Sophie is, is fucking popped off, okay? And then it's just little old me here because... I take breaks when I feel like I got to my wall, and the wall extends, and I can walk a little forward again. Is it the shittiest timing in the world that it happens to be right as we're about to get to Tengeku that I felt a little bit uh, burnt out a little bit? Yes, <laughs> absolutely, that's unfortunate. But also, Devil May Cry happened. That fucked me up a little bit. Made me really want to cover that game because it's so undercovered as well as just amazing. Uh, and then we got Borderlands coming out, which has just made me want to go play Borderlands, and I just... So many things. It's a lot of good games. Uh, this year, uh, 2019, has been horrible for me in terms of uh, people dying. <laughs> Just, which is weird people, you know, it's family things. But anyway, in terms of games, it's doing good. <laughs> that was pretty dark and a window into my world, which is less than great. But last update, we talked about the TDM finale, which is going to happen on, I believe, the 31st. It says right there. 31st is when it's going to be coming to a close, which is really soon. By the time this is out, it is over. <laughs> so hopefully if you've gotten to TDM Diamond Rank and you've got access to... Uh, the, the, that's it, the wand. Which in hindsight, that's less... I don't really care. <laughs> the wand is a less, less of a good reward for me, at least. But we're going to tease out the new season weapon and armor. Because, you know... I don't know. <laughs> There's other things here. <laughs> Might as well talk about them. Uh, yeah, patch notes. Oh, right, now we covered this. Yeah, this is the most recent stuff. Uh, yeah, dropping chests. My bad. The pitch hitter sk uh, skill getting improved. All right. <laughs> Enough. Uh, well, actually, we got this. <laughs> we got <s> Easter. <laughs> Spring egg scramble. Let's drink some coffee because I'm just, I'm in a way. Ooh, I look fucking pink <laughs> for whatever reason oh great am i dehydrated i don't know anyways uh <laughs> spring has sprung in the tower of barbs do you know what that means senpai eggs egg shrooms are back go hunt these eggs down and gain much needed xp so yes uh, eggs if you don't remember give you xp a little bit of xp a lot of xp or a very lot of a lot of xp which honestly Bronze usually isn't worth it. I mean, w w in this event, everything is worth it because you can just eat these. Um, like, if you're around the Tower of Barbs, you see one, just wolf it down and leave. You can't gain anything by cooking it, and you can't sell it for shit, if I'm not mistaken, unless they change that. Um, to be honest, this is one of the... Well, it's not weak. Yeah, it's not weak. Because if you need to, like, level up a character, like, you want to make a get a grade 6 collector because you want more vault space or whatever, you could just use this to bump him up and make him a decent defender. But anyway, <laughs> so it's not the worst, but it's, like, I prefer the uh, spring because it's, like, palm leaves because uh, they can sell for a ton of money, and I feel like I always need kill coins, whereas I can always find a way to get XP. Anyways, sorry. Egg shrooms include ones gathered in the uh, previous spring scramble. We'll have XP gain adjust. Okay, so if you kept some of these, which of course everyone does, uh, unless you're on PC because we've never experienced it, but on console I have a bunch of these. I've kept every one of the shrooms that we've had in each one of the events, but it's saying that it'll be adjusted to the norm. Yeah, see, bronze XP gain is 40. Uh, 400, sorry, and then it jumps drastically when you get silver to 30,000. It's not bad, and then gold gives you 30,000. That's amazing because I do believe golden, like uh, golden creatures, pretty high up ones, give you around 20. So that's awesome to see that it gives you 30. That's a lot of XP. Um, great. Throughout the duration, there is an event called Special Egg Hunt Quest will be available. Okay, so there's an egg hunt quest. They'll be available. Shrooms completed this quest. We'll reward you with shrooms. I guess that's what's saying. Got it. Understood. You can access that through the Hater Arcade, but ladies and gentlemen, give me a minute. Mug of the sitting, let coffee. Um, this is what we're all here for, baby. Season seven. Please, uh, I mean, I don't, we'll talk about it at the end. <laughs> I just want more content is basically what I'm gonna get at. Greetings, Tetsu is the name. Thank you for riding Tokyo Death Metro. Once the March 31st maintenance has concluded, the TDM Battle Rush will enter Season 7. Season 7 will be filled with, with some thrilling new things. I heard it. I'm more excited to have you aboard for that journey. Guys, I don't know what it is, but ever since I can remember, I've always just, whenever there's a word, I just, I'll just make the sentence work so I don't read it 
<laughs> perfectly, but anyways. To hear more about what's coming to the platforms near you, please review the following detail. Uh, we greatly appreciate your business and hope you enjoy the Tokyo Death and Rebirth. TDM Battle Rush Season 7 will end once the maintenance is on the 30th is done. Got it. So Season 7 will activate on the 30th. Oh, have, have the seasons always been three months? I just... I just clicked in with that. Well, <laughs> anyways, um, yes, TDM Battle Rush will be yeah, begin this time period. Bang! Yes, you'll see re you'll receive rewards based on your rank and all that. Details of maintenance times will be posted at a later date. Stay tuned for more info in the coming weeks and months. But did you guys see it there? Of course not, because I zoom in a little bit, so you guys didn't quite see it. But what is the new armor? But mainly the weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be getting access to, weirdly enough, a bow. <laughs> uh, and a weird one at that. <laughs> so, okay, <laughs> don't know how that is even gonna work. Uh, what weirdness? I, I have no idea. It looks hella weird. Like, I don't know, of all, of all the weapons, you could have been like, guess what's gonna come to let it die. A bow would have been the last on my list. But I remember hearing from you guys that that was something that a lot of you guys asked for um, is a bow weapon. So that's awesome uh, that you guys got your wish. But yes, I'm not sure. I feel like it's going to be like, I mean, it makes sense uh, for a bow to be used because with all the ranged weapons, they always have, they always follow the same kind of format where you got a ranged ability, your main attack is ranged, but then you got your LB ability, which is a, a, a bash basically. And with the weapons design, having this blade and whatnot on it and this other like sharp spear, <laughs> um, I could see that that being the thing, but I'm also wondering, cause it's got like these little syringes up top, which I'm wondering if that's like a nod to like poison. Which would kind of make sense, like a poison-tipped arrowhead that, like, binks someone, and then the, their poison's taken away, and then maybe switch to another weapon. But, oh shit, this may be a big deal, actually. No, <laughs> so well, I'll, I'll, I'll echo what's in my brain. Um, for a long time there, I was I was really obsessed with it with barbarian because it's like the best damage you can get for your buck. Um, and I always chose my assault rifle, the Kamas, as well as my hockey stick, because they're both two-handed weapons, so they just bleed into that deckle really well. But, but, as I kept playing, I realized that there, were, there wasn't a, a crazy amount of two-handed weapons, right? Like, I really wanted, like, an axe weapon that was two-handed that wasn't, like, the weird giant polearm kind of axe that we have in the game. But this plays really well into, like, that niche of really, like... Because this is, I guarantee, is going to be a two-handed weapon, right? So, to me, that would just get, that would just amplify or be amplified by barbarian. So, if you have two barbarians, whoo, <laughs> you are gonna wreck. Oh, <laughs> I only have the one. I have it on PS4. <laughs> oh, if the pain. But uh, yes, that's that's something. <laughs> that's something to consider. I mean, I've been asking for another two-handed weapon, so I've I've got what I wanted, but just not exact. I wanted a two-handed melee weapon, but I mean, I guess we already have a couple of those. But uh, <laughs> anyways, the new armor looks very. I honestly don't know. I I have no no emotions tied to this at all. I mean, I want to see what it looks like at its end here. The mouth thing looks pretty lackluster. The only thing that I think could be rad is the pants and the chest because it has like a very skin tight, silent assassin kind of vibe going on. Um, and I feel like as that evolves at its end tier, well, it's weird because right now the armor looks very militarized, badass, and like silent. You know, it's like clearly trying to play off the like predator, like super skin tight, not gonna make any sounds kind of look. But <laughs> damned let it die has this terrible tendency to take something that looks generally simple and militarized and at its end tier be like, why don't we just throw pink <laughs> or cyan? Or like any bright ass completely destroys the original design kind of thing <laughs> so I would I would hold your breath if you're like cuz again armors are really only good at their end tier in terms of their aesthetic look cuz that's what you're gonna be fighting for so you're gonna be and you there's no way to like pick what what grade or look you like from the past grades uh, so you're kind of stuck with the one that you're that's at a grade six level or grade five level. So uh, hopefully this looks good at its end tier. I mean, it doesn't look bad out of all the armors. I do like the kind of like lesser more than more, like just kind of like a really busy armor set, like this sniper, uh, like the like the ghillie suit armor set was never really my kind of thing. It was too much. <laughs> it was like you look like you just got it's just a lot. <laughs> it's just a lot. Also, the world of tanks one was also like that, just too much. Um, but yeah, there is it in action with the bow. It's a, I'm surprised they went with a recurve. You know what I mean? Is that right? 
Rec I don't know. There's two types, and I forget. <laughs> I used to be in the bows at some point, and I dropped off. But, oh, okay. So it looks like we have arrows on our hips. I wonder, that's also a thing. How many arrows, like, do we visually see that we have, like, 15 arrows, and then we can cock them back and shoot them? Also, is reclaiming your arrows going to be a thing? Ooh, that'd be interesting. Because how will that be? Because th th that's, like, one of the trademark things for bows. So will reclaiming be tied to... Uh, to like durability that's why i'm confused it's like well what would that look like if 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 you do reclaim your arrows doesn't it not matter because your durability is going to get destroyed anyway or is just the weapon of gen generally just really durable and then you just have a lot of arrows that you can keep using but then again what if you just don't have any arrows <laughs> what if you don't pick them up and you're just screwed is this thing like i guess you could always shield bash which i guess would be the argument hmm hmm <laughs> i don't know and what's this alt just like a hard like fire or is this alt like a poison thing is that what these syringes are maybe you hit a button and it fires out these these things i don't know i don't know looks good though looks sweet yeah the more i look at that armor the more it looks pretty wicked because we don't have many armors that's like like curt like what do you call it like fills the shape of your character you know what i mean like like without it being baggy there's all baggy armor is what i'm getting at and a lot of the characters are like shredded and yoked <laughs> so you know what i mean they may be able to fill up that fill out that armor well yeah so with us going into season seven these things will no longer be available the shuriken you definitely want to get this but by the time this comes out the season's already active so sorry <laughs> you should have ever got you should have got the shuriken because it's just good um it, yeah it takes a lot to upgrade so if you didn't get it it's not the worst um, evil wizard tet is also gone farewell wizard and i believe that's it and of course his quest and all these things um i mean mainly the weapon is the thing but uh what do you call it? there was a ah uh, what is it uh a, a, a thing happened a while ago on reddit someone made like a, a a thread explaining like their frustrations with let it die in terms of like and it also well there's a lot of there's a lot in that thread but he went into detail about how he feels like there's just not enough here like we're we're very much into the game's life cycle and like the like every three months to get like one new weapon and one new armor um isn't enough and and yeah like, and again the thing that you do constantly is okay you get these new weapons but then you have to go do the same thing that you've done a billion times which is grind the resources grind this you know grind the tdm like you like you know do a thousand raids just to be able to hopefully get it to drop and then to go to the uh, uh, floors that you spent already millions of times on to try to get those resources like yes these two things are new but these things are only new um, for like a second until you have to go do the old things that you've done a thousand times to get them so that's the that's what people and especially in the red uh, thread that i read that you guys linked me on uh, discord thank you i was saying that that's the cycle and i think that's why people are like starting to get really burnt out on the game and that's why burnout is very much a thing like i don't really i'm pretty good with burnout like i played destiny and i played borderlands 2 a lot um borderlands pre-sequel everything and i was like full hog into that game like you know what i mean just gone but uh let die fi i find again i'm like you know what i can feel myself starting to get into that place where i'm just like <laughs> I'm uh, so bleh. um and what do you call it? I usually just be like you know what I'm chill out I'm gonna take a minute because <laughs> I really want to keep making videos of this game and I really want to keep covering it because I do love the world I love the madness that is a uh, grasshopper manufacturer as well as Gohong um and I just want to see good things from them but um but yeah uh, generally I hope uh, that we get at least one big big news splash like i realized that this may be them like like giving them enough time to develop something bigger like tengeku was hopefully it is something that that wasn't like tengeku um like not to say that tengeku is bad but just to say that it's something that everyone can at least dip their toe into now even if you only made it to like 425 like uh just something and again there's things in the waiting room like a door that we've never opened where i could definitely see that being like senpai being like by the way you never unlocked that and it's like some sort of weird other randomly generated map thing uh that can just spawn different resources and maybe a different play area as well or like a battle arena that'd be sick too <laughs> i would love that i've told that for a long time but just another way to get resources just so that if they are going to keep releasing these there's at least a different way to to get uh the plethora of what what will this faction be war assembly <laughs> war assembly materials and all these things oh but that's something i wanted to say about the bow i was surprised that they chose this kind of bow like a tech futuristic kind of bow not like an old shitty wooden bow that eventually turns into like this modernized badass thing 
But yes, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. That is season seven. Uh, can't wait. Can't wait to get the weapon. Uh, well, really, I, did, well, I shouldn't say that. Well, that's true. I can't wait to get the weapon. Is it shit? Maybe. <laughs> that's the deterrent. So we'll find out pretty soon if, it, if it's pretty not worth it. But, uh, I mean, hey, it's something new. <laughs> Thank God. So we'll be able to jump back in for a week. And, and yeah, hopefully it's good too. But with all the TDM weapons, I will say, um, they... They're always good, but they're always dense. And I think that's because there's like these three months of like lull between updates. So they're like, why don't we just make it in like really crazy to farm each thing for the weapon? Like you needing like again, when you needed the shuriken costs like six purple metal at its decently end tier uh, variant. And again, the uh, flail, same thing. It costs like special metal and, and purple metal and all this shit. And it's just like, man. <laughs> yeah, it's good, but I, I don't think it's that good. <laughs> That's like, whoa, <laughs> Jesus Christ. But anyways, what can you do? Thank you guys so much for your time. Let me know what you guys think about Let It Die and the future that, that you would prefer to see. Because that's something I want to I want to understand is where do people want this game to go and what are you guys craving? Are you guys completely satisfied with the game? Are you guys wishing that maybe there's more uh, floors like Tangeku for you to uh, go and get? Do you guys wish... Do you guys not feel the problems that I've mentioned about feeling fatigued about getting a new armor and then realizing that it just feeds into the same thing that you're gonna that you've done a thousand times? Maybe you guys are like, I don't feel that at all. I take a break from the game every now and again, and when I go and farm, it creates this feeling of like levity and, and serenity. Maybe because <laughs> you're doing something that you're familiar. Um, uh, I would love to know all those things. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for your time. Subscribe button above me to do some rights. Um, we will get back into that die at some points, but again, just just kind of waiting for my second wind, uh, as always, within within us our, our years of covering the game at this point. Thank you so much for your time. Goodbye. <laughs>